Well, it's about this time of year now when all the panic and all the pressure suddenly begins to build up. And one of the worst places to be, I find, is in the high street, because everybody's rushing and tearing to get all their Christmas shopping done, and tempers get frayed and queues get longer. So what I do year after year now increasingly is actually do a lot of my shopping by post and use the mail order services. It's amazing how many people all over the country are sending out food parcels, wine, all kinds of things through fast delivery and express postal services. Now the first on my list is always choosing some really lovely chocolates. I don't normally have chocolates the rest of the year, but at Christmas time I really like to have some good chocolates. So I simply look through the mail order catalogue, uh, make up my mind whether I'm really going to spoil myself and have two pounds or just one pound, and send off for them by post. <laughs> I always used to stand in a long queue at Christmas time at this chocolate shop in London's Old Bond Street which has the Royal Warrant. I love the dark, sophisticated flavour of their chocolates. And what you can do at home is just choose the kind of chocolates you want. You can have all the same or you can have a variety. And if you want to buy chocolates for your friends, they make really special presents. If you choose lovely boxes and in the catalogue you can even choose the colour ribbon you want to have on the box of chocolates and all this will just arrive by post. As well as fine chocolates there are lots of other special luxury foods you can buy at Christmas time by post and one of the things I always like to have is some really fine Scottish smoked salmon. It can be posted off direct from the Highlands, you can have wild salmon and it has that lovely sort of peaty salty flavour that smoked salmon used to have long ago. One of the presents I received last Christmas was half a pound of freshly roasted coffee and half a pound of specialist tea wrapped up in a little brown paper parcel and tied with string. But it didn't come just once, it was delivered by post every fortnight throughout the year. And if it's not giving any secrets away, I'm going to give one or two of my friends that this Christmas. Well, as well as food for food lovers, if you've got friends who like to cook, it's quite nice to browse through one of the kitchen catalogues that come from some of the mail order shops up and down the country that sell kitchen equipment. There's a whole range of items here to choose from and a whole range of prices too. You can buy little things for stocking fillers or more expensive items, but anything somebody who loves to cook would want to have at Christmas. Now we move on to presents for cooks, to books for cooks. And people are always saying to me, which cookery books do you recommend? Well, there are two here I'd like to recommend. One is by my friend John Tovey, and this is a collection of his very popular articles in the Radio Times, and all the recipes have step-by-step -step pictures. The next one is by a favourite cookery writer of mine, and that's Katie Stewart. This is a marvellous book on entertaining, and a lovely one to have around at Christmas when you're doing a lot of entertaining. If you want a specialist or an unusual cookery book, then the place to go is this shop in Notting Hill, which is called, appropriately enough, Books for Cooks. Here you can buy all sorts of unusual, antique, old cookery books. And even if you're not Christmas shopping, it's lovely to pop in here and have a really good browse around. One book that I found in Books for Cooks, and I found extremely useful, is this wonderful book here, which is called British Food Finds. And what it is, is exactly that. It's a catalogue of specialist food suppliers up and down the country, some of them providing mail order, but even more importantly, some of them that you can discover in your own area. I've discovered several places around here that I didn't know existed before I had this book. it's really worth having a look at what's available in your own locality. I discovered this shop called the Suffolk Larder and everything here is homemade. Only the olive oil and the vinegar are not homemade. Now you can go in here and find a selection of things that would do for Christmas gifts or you can just pick here and there and make up your own Christmas hamper. Well, that's some of the things you can buy for Christmas, but I'm afraid there's something you really can't buy, and that's real proper homemade mincemeat. Whatever you